Türkiye milli futbol takımı erkek bakım markası Jilet sunar. Sevgili izleyiciler, Asit Anadolu'nun ekranlarında Lukas Podolski ile röportaja geldik. Burada Zabze, Polonya'dayız. Kendisinin oynadığı stadyumdayız. Bizi kabul etti. Zar zor oldu. Bir uçak kaçırdığım oldu. I'm telling that I miss my flight. I'm trying to come to you so hard. So I made it. I'm yeah, here. Finally. Thank you. After, yeah, finally. Uh, five months you Sonunda. made it. <laughs> Thank you so much for accepting us. How is everything, Lukas? And we can... Everything is fine. Nice yeah. weather. Like uh, Bodrum, yeah, like sun Bodrum. is out in Poland. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <coughs> we don't see we don't see the sun a lot, but yeah. uh, now everything is fine. End mm -hmm. of the season. Yeah. Um, How's your team we, goes? We, we fight for the for the Euro Euro Cup uh, spots, uh -huh. uh, and let's see. You know, we are on the fourth position. Yeah. I hope we can do one position up, mm -hmm. and everything is fine. What Healthy. About Family is good. God, yeah. Club is doing well at the moment. You look well at the moment too. You look so young. I mean, uh, you look really younger. <laughs> Lucas, I want to tell you, like, I knew it, but as soon as I knew your age, I was like, no. I, no you look like your, bro your little brother, like, nothing to your changed. age. So good. So, uh, okay, how was the goals of the season for your team and everything? We don't have actually any goals mm -hmm. uh, when the season starts. We are there at the moment at the fourth position. Uh, so yeah. normally it was not the target to to play for the for Europe. Yeah. Uh, but let's see uh, if we, I think if we win the two games who are left, uh, we can get it. And let's see. You know, we we uh, as I say, we don't have a target to play for the championship uh, when the season starts. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, season is going well for us. Uh, mm -hmm. Friday now is the last home game. Mm -hmm. uh, let's celebrate with There's the fans two games. and uh, rest. Uh, we will see. Then holidays, some mm -hmm. rest, and then we start again. Are you gonna go to Bolton for holiday? Of course. <laughs> yes. Like <laughs> everywhere, like everywhere, we're going uh, to Turkey. Uh -huh. Like uh, every year. Antalya. <clears throat> Antalya a little bit. Istanbul, uh, Bodrum. We have a house in Bodrum, so yeah. we spend uh, uh, like every year. How did some... you decide to buy a house in Bodrum? What, why? I always decide when I play in uh, in uh, in Galatasaray. Mm -hmm. So it was all, um, always a plan to have like a house in, in Turkey because uh, me and my family we are in love with Turkey mm -hmm. and uh, we love the culture, the people, the food, and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's our second home. And that's why we decide to go uh, on vacation uh, to Turkey. So, Lucas, like Turkish people like you very well, and in Galatasaray you played in Antalya sport, and you gain a lot of big love for Turkish people. And you had a restaurant, uh, Mangal, Doner Kebab restaurant. You opened in Köln. So, can you tell us the process of like how it comes, and and why did you decide to open like Doner Kebab? It's a great, great idea, by the way. Uh, Congrats. Yeah, everything started when I was playing in Galatasaray. Yeah. You know, the connection with the Turkish people also in the back days when I was young. Uh, I have many Turkish friends in Cologne. And then when I was playing in, in Galatasaray, um, I have a good friend, a business, my business partner now. Mm -hmm. He wants a meeting with me uh, because he's my neighbor also in Cologne. Uh, he had a restaurant before. And we meet like was discussion. Okay, people Turkish love you. I have a kebab restaurant and uh, I have a döner. Maybe let's do something together. So we was thinking a couple of weeks. Then they decide, okay, let's open like a small uh, Duna kebab shop. So we open it. It goes well, uh, but we invest a lot. Uh, we invest a lot of money. We invest a lot of time for this project. Uh, and at the moment is is going very well. So How many branches you have, Lucas? We have now nearly 40. 40? Yes. Wow, for, for like in, in Germany and where is No, at the moment in Germany, we try to search now for also other countries. Mm -hmm. uh, but the main target was Germany mm -hmm. and now we are ready to to uh, discover other countries. So why don't you open in Istanbul for one? Yeah, maybe. Uh, we have many requests, people asking us. Um, but at the moment, I am one guy to make it step by step yes. uh, in an easy way, uh, not a rush. Uh, so let's see. It's uh, like a one-man show. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, I, I think without these people in the background, office mm -hmm. people, of uh, cleaning guys, mm -hmm. uh, people who are cutting the the meat and everything, mm -hmm. I think uh, without these guys, uh, you can you can uh, do nothing. So, yeah, of uh, course. I mean, it's just like really brilliant idea. Someone. Who's but of like... course, you know, I open it. I had the idea with my business yeah. partner. Yeah. Uh, we put a lot of power inside this project yeah. and uh, you see, uh, when you work hard, when you put a little bit of love and passion mm -hmm. into that and also I think uh, it's a nice story because, uh, as I say, 
I am in touch with Turkish people, with this culture mm -hmm. a lot. So it's, it's fitting. Like, uh, it's not like something I don't like. I eat a kebab uh, and dinner an like kebab. since, since, since I, am, I was born. That's why uh, this is also like a connection between uh, mm -hmm. this Turkish culture and this uh, doner kebab. I mean, yes, it's uh, like everyone loves doner kebab in Turkey. Like so, uh, and Iskender also. Yes. And then we tried with yogurt and everything. So yeah, I already miss it. <laughs> when I, I know, talking. I know everything. When I'm in Turkey, you know, I get 10 kilos more, but uh, uh, it's it's worth. And, uh, yeah, you maybe know. you can have another brand in Bodrum. Like, you know, people likes in Bodrum too. Just get an idea while I'm making an interview. I say, well, wh why not? You know, Turkey yeah. is so big and uh, yeah, have, have to be the right timing. And But uh, somewhere in the head yeah. is, is Do working. Do you have right now some donuts? Here. Yeah, yeah, we have to. Uh, <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> we need to bring one. Uh, yeah, now we try to. We we are working on on, on here. Uh -huh. uh, I think in a couple of months we will that, open. That would be amazing. So People you need to it. come again. Yes, I I had to. What do you think about Galatasaray right now? You played it uh, well and people still love you. Like Galatasaray fans are always have a big love for you. So what do you think about the performance in Galatasaray right now, these days? Last year champion and this year also, Again. yeah. What is this? <laughs> Last How year champion, uh, this? this year uh, champion again. Uh, I think they're doing great, uh, not only on the pitch, also um, outside the pitch, mm -hmm. the management, everything. I think uh, it's the best club at the moment in Turkey, uh, not only because of the performance. Also, I saw some games in the Champions League. Uh, I was in the stadium against Bayern Munich, mm -hmm. doing well. What do you think so, about like, the success of why? Because the players that they have are great players, the team, I think like, the coach. <clears throat> I yeah. think it's everything. The coach, the management, the players, uh, you sell players, you bring players, mm -hmm. the board uh, doing a good job. So it's not only like few people. I think the, the whole club is doing well. Uh, there are no scandals. They're working uh, in, a, in, a, in a good way, yeah. good discipline. You know, the brand Galatasaray is doing well also. So at the moment is, is everything on the, uh, on the right way. Unfortunately, what, when I was there, I was not like that. Yeah. Uh, but uh, this is a different time. I'm still watching games. I'm still in touch with some people. I always like to visit Floria. Yeah. And, uh... <laughs> yeah. So that's the question. You know, Fenerbahce fans are still waiting like last 10 years to become a champion, and so it's been a to, long process. You need to wait another year. So, like, as a football player, as a professional football player, why Fenerbahce can't make it happen like last that? Too long. I don't know. I don't know the, this club. Like what did, did uh, I don't know these people there. But yeah. from outside, it's like, uh, like I say before, mm -hmm. Galatasaray is in a, on a on a good way, mm -hmm. good discipline, uh, no scandals. Yeah. And Fenerbahce always crowded. Always something happened between board like uh, fans and, stuff, right? and everything. Mm -hmm. Not a, any, way, maybe. A, any anyway, I think they are playing a good season, but. Mm -hmm. You know, when you see the uh, the points, uh, how many points they have, over 90 points. Yeah. Just these two clubs and the rest is like playing this own league. Mm -hmm. So Fenerbahce and Galatasaray playing his own league. Mm -hmm. um, but Galatasaray is still uh, up front. They're doing well. And Icardi is like you, former player in Inter, yes. as like, you know, left forward. So how can you describe Icardi and it's just like become, you know, a golden boy for Galatasaray? What you find some similarity like you to Icardi and can you describe Icardi's performance? Not similar. Everyone is different from the culture, from mentality, from uh, playing style. But I think uh, he also doing well on the pitch, mm -hmm. of course. He's scoring goals and also uh, what I like, he has connection with the city, with the people, with the fans. And this is always what the club needs. Um, and you you feel the connection between the players and the fans. All the all the players have the connection. Uh, they celebrate. Uh, there's a connection between the fans, and this is always important because when you when you can always be strong to, together, and uh, this is this is the way. And I think uh, yeah, great to have him in the team in the yeah. Galatasaray. Also and with the, the song. Also Sorry, with then. the with the with the other guys. And uh -huh. uh, yeah, I hope you will stay. Uh, also in the next years at, at, at this club. Yeah, you played in Germany, England, uh, Italy. Am I wrong? No, right? Yes, I'm yes. just saying. So uh, what is the difference that uh, they can make in Euro 24? And you think like who's the winner for this big competition, European Championship? 
uh, will take a place in Germany? Are you going to go to watch the games? And what do you think about the national team's performance for that? No, I think I, I will be in Bodrum at this time. <laughs> so I will watch television. <laughs> and, eat, and eat some uh, some Turkish food uh, but, uh, <laughs> when the Euros are going on. Then I think somewhere middle of June or end of June our training start again. Then we have camp. I will decide uh, how it goes, uh, mm -hmm. how is how is my time, and uh, then I will go watch some games or not. German team, I think uh, we have a good chance. The results and. And the couple, uh, the, the last tournaments was not good, but I think we still have a good team. We still have good guys and we play at home. This is a big advantage, I think. And everything, for my opinion, decide the first game when you can create like a good atmosphere with the fans, with the people. Uh, and uh, you win this first game, you can create a hype with the people, with the country, uh, and then we can go, uh, yeah, but I think uh, we can go through the final also. What about the Turkish national team? Do you know anybody from like the players? And yeah, I, know, I know nearly every, uh, everyone. I know these players, of course, but uh, I, I don't think the target for the national team of Turkey is to winning the, the Euros. Uh, mm. uh, they have a team, yeah. let's see. I don't know, maybe the first target is to come out of the group and then let's see. We played 2008 against them. They have a good team. Yeah. Uh, they have, a, uh, yeah, Fatih Terim was the coach. Mm -hmm. It was a hard game against them mm -hmm. uh, at the Euros. Uh, so I think uh, the biggest advantage of, of the Turkey national team is the, the power, the atmosphere with the fans. Mm -hmm. Maybe there also is a big advantage for them uh, when the tournament is in Germany. In mm -hmm. Germany also many, many Turkish people are yes, living. Yes, it's like a to Turkey. Like, like a mm -hmm. like a <laughs> yeah, like a home like home uh, Euros. Yeah. Uh, so maybe they can use it for the performance on yeah. the pitch and the hype, everything with the fans, with the stadiums, mm -hmm. uh, can create something something more. But I don't think uh, the national team of Turkey go into the Euros and say, look, our target is the, to winning the Euros. I think they are, they are uh, better, better teams. And Lucas, you played with uh, really tons of coaches. And can you tell us that who is the best coach that you work with? And like, you know, really love it. I, uh, but but what is the best? You know, every I mean, every, yeah. every coach had something course, something. Yeah. Every coach have a best side, a wrong yeah. side. Like maybe uh, most, one coach you truthful, like, uh, another coach you don't like. But I, I I work with Yogi Löw. Uh -huh. He also work in in Turkey in in the wrong club, but he work. I work with him nearly like ten more more than ten years, and he helped me a lot when I was younger, and that's why. When you work with a coach like nearly ten years, so uh, I think you learn a lot with him. And that's why oh, he was like one of the one, one of the best. But there was also other coaches. You learn also mm -hmm. something for, of them. And mm -hmm. I am lucky to play in different countries, in different leagues, uh, for different clubs. So I see a lot of coaches. I see a lot of players. I learn different cultures. Uh, and uh, that's why I am happy to see everything around the football. Yeah. And when I stop playing football, uh, I think uh, I learn a lot. And, and I and I see a lot, and uh, this is, uh, I think, later a big advantage. How do you like Antalya, Lucas? You played in <coughs> Antalya sport, and do you have any unforgettable memories over there? It was a great time also for the family. You know, Antalya uh, also like a little bit like a holiday place. Uh, especially, I think Antalya. I think the potential what they have, they don't, they don't use it because with the city, with the people. I think how many, three, four million people living there. Mm. They have a great stadium, amazing facilities, international airport. They have uh, a seaside. Yeah. Uh, Gold, they have, everything. They, they got everything to have a great club. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, the management uh, and always like big changes. This is maybe also for also other clubs in Turkey, also always a big problem. Mm -hmm. um, that's why uh, it was a great time mm. for me and my family. Uh, on the pitch, uh, okay, because uh, Antalya is not a team who fight for the for the championship. But uh, as I say, from my point of view, uh, with this city and with everything, with the stadium, uh, you can create uh, so much more with this club. Uh, you know, great time, Antalya, great city. But uh, uh, again, uh, I can repeat, I think there's so much more potential when. My good friend Ali Shafak was there mm -hmm. as, a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a president. Um, I think uh, the club was on a good way. Mm -hmm. um, then he left and then many things changed in the wrong side. Many political things and some coaches come in and everything. It was not good management at that time. Uh, so that's well, why I left. 
What did Alicia Fuck makes difference? Like what makes no, him special? He, 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 he feel uh, he feel the love with the club. He's from the city. He was always there. Uh, you can always talk with him. Like he, brother, right? he invests a lot, I think, mm -hmm. financial. He do a lot for the club. Also, you want to create something, but he was like not alone, but I think something from him maybe was uh, missing. He left this project, unfortunately. Yeah. I hope one day he come back and he can create something, something great there. Because as I say, uh, with this city, stadium, facilities, everything, you have everything to become a great club. Lucas, uh, have you any, any idea that if you can think to come go, come back to Turkey and are you going to play or being a manager in yeah, you Turkey? You think I'm 25. <laughs> you look like 12. <laughs> you never know what's happened. Because uh, you're kind of like I, I, I still have one, one more year contract here. Then we will see what's happened if I decide to become a manager, a coach, mm -hmm. or maybe do nothing for the, for the beginning. But you know, Turkey is always a place. Like it's, a, club. It's, a, it's a second home. Yeah. Uh, if guys that I call, uh, call me, uh, yeah. I always open to talk with them. Um, you know, I'm still young. Uh, I'm still playing, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't do. I think if you stop, you also can rest a bit, and then you can do something in one, two, or five years. So uh, you you are still young. I don't have to decide to stop, and next day you have to uh, have another job. Mm. So step by step. Yeah. But uh, of course, if guys like calling, uh, I'm always there because, you know, it's my second home, my yeah. club. I'm still in love with the fans, with everyone. It's nice. Uh, to so that's why, uh, let's see what's happened. And Lucas, five, five to five with Lucas. Like there's a closing part that we have, a little, little short thing. That two questions, you can just like choose one, okay? Tea or coffee? Uh, tea. <laughs> Fish or meat? Both. <laughs> Both. You can <laughs> Okay, Germany or Turkey? Yeah, but what? <laughs> yeah, I'm just, just like... But what? One. From food, from... Uh, uh, It's just like a question. Okay, let's say food. Food. Uh, food, uh, Turkey. Podolski or Icardi? Podolski. <laughs> of course. Istanbul or Antalya? Istanbul. I was just accepting Bodrum, you can say. <laughs> Istanbul. Okay, you choose that. And here is the last thing that... Um, Are you still going to be active for football career? Like how long you will uh, play football? You have an idea. I, as I say, I have um, one more year contract, but you never know. I can decide by myself if mm -hmm. I feel good, if I have the motivation still, I can, I can continue. Uh, but at the moment, let's see. Maybe there are some other opportunities also with my hometown club here when I was growing. So maybe I can create something great here when mm -hmm. I stop playing. And then everything is open. I'm open for everything. And uh, yeah, again, if God and I are calling, mm -hmm. uh, we can talk. I, I'm here to come to take to you to Istanbul. Not the time yet. <laughs> uh, the time will come. They sent me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's let, let's see. You know, I'm I'm open. Everyone knows uh, how my connection is with uh, with Turkey. It's like my second home with the people, with the culture, mm -hmm. with everyone. Uh, always when I'm in Turkey. Doesn't matter which city, I feel the love, I feel the passion with the people. I never had any any bad uh, yeah, connection with the people or something mm -hmm. else. So I'm always welcome and me and, me and my family always thank, thankful for the, for the love uh, mm -hmm. the people giving us. And that's why uh, we have a house. We're always there. Mm -hmm. uh, we have many friends in this Turkey. Summer, this summer, we'd love to see uh, you again. We, in Bodrum, this summer, in you will see some pictures <laughs> in Turkey, in Istanbul, yeah, in Bodrum. Of course. And, uh, yeah. A really uh, close friend in football. In football. In like, football. Really buddies. Like. I have many buddies. All yeah. are my buddies. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't have one. I am don't in touch like uh, every day. Okay. Uh, but, you know, always when I visit somewhere when I see somewhere in Bodrum on vacations, mm -hmm. when I visit Antalya or Istanbul, I always see mm -hmm. someone yeah. who's playing not only in Galatasaray, someone playing in Fenerbahce. Oh, yeah. I see I have good connection in Besiktas, 
from there, other clubs. There, so. From other clubs are also know a lot of players. So I have many players who are retired, or you are oh. still in touch. Oh. Uh, many players or, or you see in Germany or some, something else in the stadium. So there are, there are, there are many people, many, many friends who are, who are in touch. Oh, perfect. Then thank you so much, Lucas. Thank you. Sevgili izleyiciler, Asasan Öz ekranlarında sonuna geldik. Lucas Podolski ile programımızın. Burada çok keyifli bir röportaj yaptık. Biz de dönerciler de davet ediyor. Diyor ki hep beraber yemekte yiyelim. Ee, bir sonraki bölümde çay karıştırıyor. <gülüyor> <gülüyor> Bir sonraki bölümde görüşmek üzere hoşça kalın. Türkiye Milli Futbol Takımı Erkek Bakım Markası Jilet sundu.